Dear students, in this video we will learn about the elements of C or C++ language. Elements uh, of the C language that are necessary for writing any C programs that are helpful to user or programmer or learner to write their programs. First of all, we will discuss about the identifiers. Identifiers are the names or labels or variables that are used to represent variables, constants, functions, name inside C over C++ program. Identifier name contain any number of character, but it is significant up to first 31 character. There are two types of identifier standard identifier and user defined identifiers standard identifiers are those that are predefined identifier that are already defined in the language library we can use them inside the program for our requirement of the result for example printf scanf these are the already defined in the header files or the library file of the language stdio.h or iostream.h string is also a standard library file these are the predefined words uh, which we cannot redefine for our own personal purpose and second type of the identifier is user defined identifier are those that are defined by the user or programmer to use inside program to store value input by the user or to store calculated result of the formula these are the user defined identifier user defined identifier data defined by a particular user these are the user defined identifier like for example we have int x it's a user defined identifier int a b c these are the user defined identifier uh, a, B, C are the three variables that belongs to integer family. Void sum is the declaration of the function. Float W, E, R. These are the uh, variables that belongs to floating uh, point values. These are the user defined identifier. They store uh, value input by the user or calculate the result of a formula. Our next point is reserved word are the keywords. Keywords are the reserved words of the language that have predefined meaning in C over C++. It means that they are already defined in the library of the C over C++. They cannot be redefined. We can only use them for our purpose. There are 32 uh, keywords or reserved words in C language. If we redefine it, its purpose must be changed. So we have no need to redefine it. Variables. Variables are the memory locations that are used in program to store value input by the user or to store the calculated result of a formula. Variables are uh, temporarily created on RAM and each variable have a unique address on the RAM. And after its use, the variables are destroyed. Variables are the user defined identifier. Our next one is declaring a variable in C over C is a strongly typed language. It means that uh, if we are using any variable uh, in our C over C program, we must have to declare it we must have to define it we have a variable and the particular variable belongs to which data type all the variable that we use inside the program we must have to declare in program before its use how to define the variable look at the syntax data type and the variable name example of declaring a variable is here look at this integer a a is a variable whose data type is int or integer float b b is a variable whose data type is float that store fractional value 
character char p it means p is a variable whose data type is char char belongs to character it store any character in it and after declaring of the variable we have next step is initializing a variable a process in which we assign a value to a variable is known as initialization of the variable assigning a value to a variable after its declaration is known as initializing initialization example of declaration and initialization we have already discussed in our previous slide example of declaration how to declare a variable and once again you look at this uh, point int a is the example of declaring a variable and our second line a equal 5 this is the example of initializing a variable and next example float b this is the example of declaring a float type variable our next line is b equal 3.1415 example of initializing a variable a process in which we assign value to the variable is known as initializing a variable and now uh, we after that we will uh, perform a short program in c or c plus plus thank you so much for watching this video please share it and share it with uh, your other fellows who are studying c language thank you